Hello everyone. Today I will tell you the story of Bilva Mangala Thakura. For those who don't know, Bilma Mangala Thakur lived in India a long time ago. He was from a rich family and over time his parents died and his friends said, Bilva, why are you worrying so much about your parents? There will be a party with several dancers. At first he didn't want to go, but a friend of his, after a long existence, convinced him. Bilva said, okay, okay. I'm going to see those dancers. When he arrived, he saw a very special dancer. And in that, he began to fall in love with her. Her name was Chintamani, and the way she danced, her movements had him totally thrilled. And he said, wow, I've never seen a dancer like that. I'm going to have a talk with her. Time passed and each time his attachment grew, and grew, and grew, to the point where he forgot about his duties. Back then, once a year he had the custom of honoring his dead parents with a ceremony. But he was so attached to Chintamani that he didn't want to leave her side. She said, Bilva why don't you go on ceremony with your parents? He replied, I am very attached to you. She said, go there and do the ceremony for your parents, it is very important that you do this. This is part of the culture of India. After much insistence he decided to go and there the priests performed the whole ceremony and they said, oh go faster, go faster, faster, faster. They finished the ceremony and he ran back to see his beloved. But it was late at night and it started pouring rain, in fact it was terrible and he managed to get there. At Chintamani's house, she heard someone knocking on her door and when she opened it she saw Bilva all dirty and smelling bad. She said, how did you get here in this rain? He replied, this rain was horrible. There were several scared animals on my way and I had a lot of trouble. Then the river flooded and you know I'm a very good swimmer. But the current carried me along and luckily a tree trunk appeared and I clung to it and arrived at your door. She looked out her window and saw a corpse there. He mistook a corpse for a log. She said, you've mistaken a corpse, that's why you smell so bad. How did you get through the gate that was closed? He replied, I saw that it was closed. But I also saw that you left a rope attached to the wall. Chintamani looks out the window and says, You mistook a dead snake for a rope. You faced animals, crossed a river, confused a corpse with a log, confused a snake with a rope. All just to satisfy your lust. If you had used all that effort for God, for Krishna, Surely you would already be liberated from this material world. Hearing this from Chintamani, Bilva Mangala realized her mistake and saw how right she was. He noticed that during all the time that he was together with her, she always encouraged him towards spirituality. At that time he paid her all respects and called her master and left determined to seek spirituality. This story has a continuation, but it's for the next one. Like, like and share. Subscribe to the channel.